Sweden going full green, Japan's robot gardens, NASA's quest for Mars, and Google Street View in virtual reality. These are today's bits. Renewable energy has been gaining some ground lately with some companies investing in solar or wind powered facilities like Facebook. And then you have Costa Rica that was able to run for 75 straight days off of nothing but renewable energy. Well, Sweden has a new plan to be the first fossil free nation by the end of the year 2050. They are dumping an extra $546 million into the effort in 2016 and they plan on closing a lot of their nuclear power plants as soon as they can. This is mainly due to them being worn down, but the point is, is that they have zero plans to actually rebuild them. Now we can only hope that more countries follow in the footsteps and maybe we can save ourselves from ourselves. Japan has taken farming to a whole new level. Literally. By 2017, a Japanese firm called Spread wants to open a world's first robotic multi-layered farm capable of producing 30,000 heads of lettuce per day. It will be indoors and ran almost 100% by robotic arms. At the moment, they still need humans to handle seeding and germination confirmation, but they are working that as we speak. Or as I speak, unless this is an old video, then they might already have it. But. Anyways, now while this does take more jobs away, it does have many benefits in return. For example, 98% of the water they use can be recycled and computers regulate the environment for a perfect crop every time without the need of any pesticides. So not only will everything be more efficient, but they'll also be able to stack crops on top of each other, dramatically reducing the amount of needed land. Pretty cool. NASA has released a detailed plan on how they plan on sending humans to Mars over the next few decades. You can check out the links in the description for full details, but basically they not, they not only want to go there, but they also want to stay there. The entire goal is to be self-sufficient without any need for support from Earth. To make this happen, they have been and will continue to do studies in the space station that directly relate to Mars colonization, even though they never say colonization in the thing, I'm just saying. So things like 3D printers, life support, and long-term space living are at the top of their list. Now, again, this won't be for another few decades, so don't start packing your bags yet. But if you did have the chance to go to Mars with very little chance of returning, would you go? I mean, Matt Damon already proved that it is possible to grow food on Mars in his latest documentary about being stranded there. So maybe this is closer than we think. Okay, seriously, that was a joke from people on the internet that actually questioned whether or not that was based off a true story. Dead serious. Google has released an update to their Google card Google has released an update to their Google Cardboard app that allows users to explore streets in virtual reality. This app is available for both Android and iOS for free, but you will need the actual Google Cardboard box thingy for it to work right. They're only like 20 bucks, so totally worth it. Some bonus stories today include something called a Tempe scope. That's a little rectangular box thing that'll tell you what the weather is like outside by actually reproducing what's going on. It can simulate rain, lightning, fog, and clouds, or you could just walk outside. It is on Indiegogo right now, so it's not in full production, but they do have a cool demo video that you can check out here. So you can see it for yourself. Netflix is raising their subscription price by $1 to $9.99 a month. Calm down, it's only a dollar difference. And a random video went semi-viral a couple days ago that shed some light on the secrets of YouTube playback. I only bring this up because I have been forever frustrated with YouTube because every time I hit the space bar, it just takes me to the bottom of the page. But now I find out all you have to do is press the K button. I know, it's simple. So simple I had no idea that it even existed. And to spoil the video even more, you can go backwards and forwards in the video with the L and the J key. I know there's probably like 50 million people that already knew that, but hey, I didn't know that, so yeah, the more you know. Okay, so like, subscribe, thanks for watching, have a good day.